Hello everyone, in today's video, we are checking out Grokking the Coding interview on Educative.io. This is one of their most popular courses, and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek inside the course, what it looks like, what you can expect, and some of its features so you can decide if it's for you or not. Now, I simply typed in Grokking in the search bar here on Educative, and as you can see, there are many courses starting with Grokking, I've taken a few of these courses, not everyone on here, but the grokking courses created by design gurus in particular are freaking awesome. They have grokking the advanced system design interview, grokking the system design interview, grokking the OOD interview, and of course, the one and only. So let me go ahead and pop in here. Now, just like with the rest of Educative, there are no videos. This is an interactive platform. It's 100% interactive. This video right here, I know I just said there are no videos, but this is a promo video. Actually, once you get inside the course, it's just reading, looking at charts and visuals, and also working with the interactive code editors. And you can see a snapshot right here, 182 lessons, 125 challenges, 1,039 playgrounds. There are over a thousand places where you can interact with these code editors, run your code, test your code, all that good stuff. Select your programming language of preference. And of course, can't forget the illustrations, 214 of those. So the course overview, I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but just to give you an idea, this course has helped 30,000 subscribers land a job at the Fangs. Coding interviews are getting tougher, and they came up with 16 patterns for coding questions based on similarities in the techniques needed to solve them. So instead of something like cracking the coding interview where you have this huge encyclopedia of individual questions, this course shows you the patterns so that you can apply the patterns in different contexts. You don't have to memorize hundreds of questions and hundreds of answers. Brief introduction here with the course overview, and then they slide you right into the patterns. The first pattern is called the sliding window. We have an intro, some easy problems, easing you into the pattern, moving it up to medium. Let's go down to these patterns down here and I'll show you one. Let's go to pattern subsets. This challenge is called evaluate expression. They give you two examples and then you are to try it yourself. And as you see, you have four different languages here. You can answer in Java, Python, JavaScript, or C++. There are a few customizations you can make to these coding playgrounds. Go up here to the icon and you can have the different, you can have VS Lite, VS Dark, or default, which is, I think is the same as VS Dark, and adjust your text, auto run JavaScript, and enable Vim key binding. Now again, comparing this to something like cracking the coding interview, the book, those questions and answers are all written in Java, whereas these coding playgrounds, you have your choice of Java, Python, JavaScript, C++. Going down to topological sort, graph, this is problem challenge two, minimum height trees. As you can see, we have some code snippets, nice illustrations to illustrate the pattern, more examples, more illustrations, and then you get a chance to solve it yourself here. And again, this editor looks familiar because this is the same one in all of these patterns and all of these lessons. If you're trying to get into a fan company, I think this course is a must. A lot of people have enrolled in this course based on my earlier recommendations. I have an article about it. It's one of my most popular articles on realtoughkenny.com if you wanna read the review. What makes this course really stand out compared to something like Algo Expert. Number one, Algo Expert is a great product, but it does have all these videos and it can be a time sink, but no videos here. So it can be a more efficient learning experience. The biggest thing though that makes this course stand out compared to the other Fang prep products out there is that this focuses on the patterns. And so it's super efficient. I love that you can apply these to literally hundreds, if not thousands of coding challenges that you may face in a technical interview at a Fang. It certainly beats trying to memorize cracking the coding interview, uh, which I think is a great book and it's helped a lot of people land a Fang job. But like they say here, it's not really cutting it anymore. So even though these patterns and a lot of the challenges that you're tasks to complete are not easy, once you get the hang of them, you have a very powerful tool set that's gonna help you in the FANG interview process. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Have you taken this course? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.